As the labor shortage continues across Cattle Land, a Sioux Falls-based construction company has added an innovative prefabrication division. How this new addition to Sands Wall Systems is saving construction projects time and money in tonight's Your Money Matters. Our consumers wanted speed to market, and they wanted the outside walls done faster. They want everything done faster all the time. It's what led Sands Wall Systems to invest in these machines that help them make their own steel studs. Now the supply chain isn't impacting us like it was 12 months ago, and we couldn't get a stud. And the employees, it's much better for them because they're building these walls inside of a factory instead of outside in 100 degree heat or 20 below weather. It's not only safer and more comfortable for employees, the prefab process is helping the company finish jobs much faster using half the labor. We can build a project two months before being on site in a factory with four guys. Think of this a little bit like IKEA. The machine cuts every piece according to the design and then all they have to do is assemble it according to the instructions. We also do all of our own design. So now we have a design division that designs the panels that go onto our projects. Each piece is uniquely labeled for every project. The precise designs mean workers no longer have to make any cuts, and the holes are even pre-drilled, cutting down on not only time, but also waste. Because we prefab everything to the exact height of the wall, so there's no waste that's getting cut off and thrown into a dumpster. That helps to cut down on the cost of materials, and the faster installation time can mean these kinds of major commercial projects are finishing up much sooner than before. It costs the contractor about 2500 a day for every day he's on that job. So if we can get him off 30 days early, you know, that's real money for those guys. Now that prefab facility opened up in January after a year and a half of planning. Sands Wall Systems believes it is the first of its kind in the Midwest, but this new technology is growing in popularity on the coasts and in the south. We 